Zia from Z's Thing and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own sunset reflection painting using acrylic paint. So let's get started. The materials you will need are a paint palette, four paint colors, orange, red, black, yellow, paint brushes, a canvas, a cup of water, and something to wipe your paint brushes on when they are wet. I'm using a paper towel. The first thing we do is draw a line with a ruler in the middle of a canvas just to represent that we are going to be using this half as one reflection and this half as the other reflection. I'm going to take out my yellow, my red, and my orange paint in my paint palette so we can use that to make the sunset. Now it's the fun part, it's time to paint. I'm going to first put my red as an arch, then I'm going to put my orange as an arch, and then I'm going to put my yellow as an arch. I'm going to be using my big brush for this part of the sunset. Also guys, I'm making my red section the biggest section because that is going to be the top of the sunset, the thing where people most look at. And then after I make a medium layer of orange, then I'm just going to fill in everything until the line yellow. So it looks like a sunset and then I will teach you guys how to blend the paint. to use my medium brush to blend everything. How you blend is you are going to take your paint palette and you are going to use red and orange and make that color. Then you're going to use red and yellow and make that color. And then you're going to use orange and yellow and make that color. And you're going to use little bits of both so you can make a different color. And then you are going to apply it to the color where it mixes. So if you're making orange and yellow, you're going to put it in between orange and yellow. I'm going to make my colors and then I'm going to show you how to put it on your canvas. I will also be using a medium sized brush for this part of the sunset. Okay, I have made red and orange and I made this type of dark red, but it's also or it's also with this dark orange. And I'm just going to apply it over here on this top, right over here. Here. Just going to apply it right over here. Just a little, little stroke. That's why I'm not using the smallest brush I have, but I'm not using the biggest either. Now we're going to make orange and yellow. Okay guys, I have made this orange yellow color and I'm going to apply that right here in between the orange and the yellow. And we don't have to make red, we don't have to make red and yellow because they are not touching in any form. Now we are going to work on the other side reflection. So we are going to use the same steps we used for this. Now I'm going to use my two colors I made earlier, that one and that one, to blend my red and orange and my orange and yellow. let my painting dry for five minutes and I'm also going to make big trees up here and then make the same reflection trees but I'm going to make them smaller here so the color you will be needing for the trees is going to be black 
Now it has been five minutes and I have let my painting dry. I'm going to be using the color black today to do the forest trees. Also for this part, I recommend using a small brush to do the details of the trees. I'm going to show you guys how to do one tree. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a simple stem. It's the simple stem, it will just be a line like this. Then I'm going to just make lines like this up until I get to the top of the tree so I can make it more narrow. Like this. I have made tr three trees and I want to keep in mind that you should have a dry brush with you to make little spikes on the trees to make it more nature and realistic. I have this dry brush I had lying around my house and I'm just going to use it and I found this was a smallish brush I had and I'm just going to make small spikes on the end like like that but with just this tip filled just that I only put paint I only put paint on the tip Just gonna make lines like that and just make them going out, you know, with a dry brush how the lines form. If it happens like this, that is totally fine because trees are different. I'm only putting it so little that only so little comes out. You can just, I just like to dab it like this. I just like to dab it. This tree, okay, that's fine. Just like to dab it like this, then dab. I put too much paint, that's fine. Just dab a little bit, make most of it in the thing. I'm only gonna put a little bit of paint now. Boom, those trees are done. Now we're gonna repeat the whole tree process all again, but we are just going to flip over our canvas. And for these trees, the trees need to be a little bit smaller as a reflection, because this is the top, this is the bottom, so they need to be a little bit smaller just for the, the reflection. I am only using this brush for the details of the trees for the spikes. Otherwise, I'm going to use this brush that it has been in the water. It's just, when you put water on the brush before painting, it's good, but we don't want lots of water. Otherwise, your paint, your painting will just be all wet. Also, I'm putting the trees like this um, parallel to each other because I didn't want to keep the stem because that doesn't give the water sunset look. If anything like this happens where it's not too light or where it's too dark, then you can always just go back and put more paint on it. Now I'm gonna put the details on the trees. Okay, we have officially finished our painting. Even though this dries within like eight hours, I like to leave the painting overnight so the details and everything will form. And I wanna show you guys the final result when it is dry because right now it's all wet so you can see all these lumps. But when it is dry, it will be all nice and pretty. So I'm gonna let this dry for at least 24 hours. Okay guys, it has been 24 hours and the final product is now dry. 
So this is all the details. I want to show you it really close up so you could see the whole detail we made. And you can also see the reflection because these trees are tall and these are getting littler by the reflection. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.